Good morning. Dagmar here. I just wanted to go through one of the um, one of the first uh, tall document journals I made. This is printed on linen paper, quite a heavy cardstock, and this is some of the vintage ephemera and uh, papers that I bought from Rachel at Roxy's Creations. So I put on this. Um, it's an old photograph with some Tracy labels, some tape, and then this crocheted piece I hand stitched on. So on the inside of every one, I found that belly bands work the bit, almost the best for me. And this is the, the pages in a book that um, don't have any writing on them. And I really like them because they already are so beautifully vintaged. The pages that I photocopied on, I did not... I haven't done anything and I think I might leave them just plain so you can see how beautiful the script is. This is a new embossing folder that I got with some text on it and some tape that I made to make it look like it's vintage from Heather, I think has a, a video on it from Rose Hill Cottage. And it was, it's really, I really like how it looks. I just added this extra little page at the pocket some ephemera. This is, I embossed this music paper as well. And you can see these, because it's so tall, it's 11 by four by eight. So it's 11 by four when it's closed. It really lends itself well to deep pockets. This one, I've just put a little lace belly band on. And you could still um, do some journaling on the side if you want. This is a book page, and then I made this big long tuck. And in here I have vintage tracing paper with one of the little um, tabs. This one says Timber Reserves Limited Bill of Materials. So I just added some extra paper here, another belly band. This just here's some more of that tape, which I love and more of that vintage tracing paper with a folded um, a piece of botanical from the book. And I've only, I've only done half of it so far, but I wanted to, you to see what I did. It's just a single pamphlet stitch and it's not even, it just has two holes and I tied it. Let me turn it over here. I tied it at the back that way. So if I want to cover the back, I might, and there's no knot in the middle. So these are just the other pages. Love this. I found this piece of paper, which is just absolutely ideal for, for this, it's the same size. You can see how heavy this is and I've frayed the edges and I wanted to show you what I used. So I have this serrated sandwich sort of spreader and I just go like this to it and it just does a marvelous job of roughing up the edges and it doesn't ruin my fingernails, which I don't have a lot of fingernails anyway, crafting all the time and gardening. Um, and then I just, I, I just inked some of it, but you can see how it makes it look like it's been there for a long time. That beautiful script. There's some more of that tape. So sometimes when I had a, a break in the paper, the tape just added some a vintage feel to it, I thought. So that's, I've got a little bit more work to do, but I just thought I'd show you what I've done so far. And then what I've done is, I'll just turn it over here, hopefully keep it in frame, is just clip it with one of the clips that I tried to make pretty. But I might put a grommet in here and then tie some twine around it to keep it. I haven't quite decided on that. I hope you guys are all well. Thank you so much for watching. And um, I should be back probably next week with one of my stitching videos. So thanks so much. Have a great day. Bye-bye.